which birds lay the largest and smallest eggs? The elephant bird, Ap Ornus maximus, an extinct flightless bird of Madagascar. Also known as the giant bird or rock, laid the largest known bird eggs. Some of these eggs measured as much as 13.5 in, 34 centimeters, in length and 9.5 in, 24 centimeters, in diameter. The largest egg produced by any living bird is that of the North African ostrich, Struthio camelus. The average size is 6 to 8 in, 15 to 20.5 centimeters, in length and 4 to 6 in, 5 to 15 centimeters, in diameter. The smallest mature egg, measuring less than 0.39 in, 1 centimeter, in length. Is that of the vervain hummingbird, Melisuga minima, of Jamaica? Generally speaking, the larger the bird, the larger the egg. However, when compared with the bird's body size, the ostrich egg is one of the smallest eggs. While the hummingbird's egg is one of the largest, the kiwi bird of New Zealand lays the Largest egg relative to body size of any living bird. Its egg weighs up to 1 pound 0.5 kilograms. What are some methods of asexual reproduction? Budding, fission, and fragmentation are methods of asexual reproduction. In budding a new individual begins as an outgrowth, or bud, of the parent. Eventually, the bud detaches from the parent and develops into a new individual. Budding is common among sponges and coelenterates such as hydras and anemones. Fission is the division of one individual into two or more individuals of almost equal size. Each new individual develops into a mature adult. Some corals reproduce by dividing longitudinally into two smaller but complete individuals. Fragmentation is the breaking of the parent into several pieces. It is accompanied by regeneration when each piece develops into a mature individual. Sea stars are well known for reproducing by fragmentation and regeneration. Which aquatic animals have internal fertilization? Certain sharks, skates, and rays have internal fertilization. The pelvic fins are specialized to pass sperm to the female. In most of these species the embryos develop internally and are born alive. How do the excretory organs vary in different species? Many animals, such as sponges, jellyfish, tapeworms, and other small organisms, do not have distinct excretory organs. Rather, they rid their bodies of waste through diffusion. Larger, more complex animals require specialized, often tubular, organs to rid their bodies of waste. For example, flatworms such as planarians have tubules. 
that collect wastes and expel them to the outside via pores. Segmented worms such as earthworms have nephridia, tubules with a ciliated opening, in each segment. Fluid from the body cavity is propelled through the nephridia. Wastes are expelled through a pore to the outside while certain substances are reabsorbed. Insects have a unique excretory system that consists of malpighian tubules. Waste products enter the malpighian tubes from the body cavity. Water and other useful substances are reabsorbed, while uric acid passes out of the body. Vertebrate animals have kidneys to dispose of metabolic wastes. Do fish drink water? Marine bony fishes such as tuna, flounder, and halibut drink sea water almost constantly to replace water lost by osmosis and through their gills. It is estimated that they drink an amount equal to 1% of their body weight each hour. An amount comparable to a human drinking 1.5 pints or nearly 3 cups. 700 milliliters of water every hour around the clock. The gills eliminate most of the excess salts obtained by drinking large quantities of seawater. The fishes excrete small quantities of urine that is isotonic to their body fluids. By contrast, cartilaginous fishes, e. g. sharks and rays, do not need to drink water to maintain the balance of water. Osmotic balance, in their bodies. They reabsorb the waste product urea. Creating and maintaining a blood urea concentration that is 100 times higher than that of mammals. Their kidneys and gills thus do not have to remove large quantities of salts from their bodies. Freshwater fishes never drink water separate from ingesting food. These fishes are prone to gain water since their body fluids are hypotonic. Containing a lesser concentration of salts, to the surrounding water. They imbibe water through their gills to maintain the correct balance of salts in their bodies and excrete large quantities of diluted urine daily. It is estimated that freshwater fishes eliminate a quantity of urine equal to one third of their body weight each day. How does external fertilization differ from internal fertilization? External fertilization is common among aquatic animals including fishes, amphibians, and aquatic invertebrates. Following an elaborate ritual of mating behavior to synchronize the release of eggs and sperm. Both males and females deposit their gametes in. The water at approximately the same time in close proximity to each other. The water protects the sperm and eggs from drying out. Fertilization occurs when the sperm reach the eggs. Internal fertilization requires that sperm be deposited in or close to the female reproductive tract. It is most common among terrestrial animals that either lay a shelled egg, such as reptiles and birds, or when the embryo develops for a period of time within the female body.
What is hermaphroditism? Hermaphroditic animals have both male and female reproductive systems. Hermaphroditism Provides a means for animals to reproduce sexually without finding mates. For example, individuals in many species of tapeworms fertilize their own eggs. In other species such as earthworms. Each individual serves as a male and female during mating, both donating and receiving sperm. What is the function of the skeletal system? The skeletal system is a multifunctional system. The skeletal system provides support, allows an animal to move, and protects the internal organs and soft parts of an animal's body. Do all animals have red blood? The color of blood is related to the compounds that transport oxygen. Hemoglobin, containing iron, is red and is found in all vertebrates and a few invertebrates. Anlids, segmented worms, have either a green pigment, chlorocruorin, or a red pigment, hemerythrin. Some crustaceans, Arthropods having divided bodies and generally having gills. Have a blue pigment, hemocyanin, in their blood. What are the problems an animal must overcome to move? In contrast to other organisms, animals are able to move. The two forces an animal overcomes to move are gravity and friction. Aquatic animals do not have much difficulty overcoming gravity, since they are buoyant in water. However, because water is dense, the problem of resistance, friction, is greater for these animals. Many of them have sleek shapes to help them swim. Terrestrial animals tend to have fewer problems with friction. Since air poses fewer problems of resistance than does water. However, terrestrial animals must work harder to overcome gravity. How do T cells differ from B lymphocytes? Lymphocytes are one variety of white blood cells and are part of the body's immune system. The immune system fights invading organisms that have penetrated the body's general defenses. T cells responsible for dealing with most viruses for handling some bacteria and fungi and for cancer surveillance are one of the two main classes of lymphocytes T lymphocytes or T cells compose about 60 to 80 percent of the lymphocytes circulating in the blood they have been educated in the thymus to perform particular functions Killer T cells are sensitized to multiply when they come into contact with antigens, foreign proteins. On abnormal body cells, 
cells that have been invaded by viruses, cells in transplanted tissue, or tumor cells. These killer T cells attach themselves to the abnormal cells and release chemicals. Lymphokins, to destroy them. Helper T cells assist killer cells in their activities and control other aspects of the immune response. When B lymphocytes, which compose approximately 10 to 15% of total lymphocytes, contact the antigens on abnormal cells, the lymphocytes enlarge and divide to become plasma cells. Then the plasma cells secrete vast numbers of immunoglobulins or antibodies into the blood, which attach themselves to the surfaces of the abnormal cells, to begin a process that will lead to the destruction of the invaders. Can animals regenerate parts of their bodies? Regeneration occurs in a wide variety of animals, however. It progressively declines as the animal species becomes more complex. Regeneration frequently occurs among primitive invertebrates. For example, a planarian, flatworm, can split symmetrically. With the two sides turning into clones of one other. In higher invertebrates regeneration occurs in echinoderms. Such as starfish and arthropods such as insects and crustaceans. Starfish are known for their ability to develop into complete individuals from one cut-off arm. Regeneration of appendages, limbs, wings, and antennae, occurs in insects such as cockroaches, fruit flies, and locusts and in crustaceans such as lobsters, crabs, and crayfish. For example, Regeneration of a crayfish's missing claw occurs at its next mold. Shedding of its hard cuticle exterior shell slash skin in order to grow and the subsequent hardening of a new cuticle exterior. Sometimes the regenerated claw does not achieve the same size of the missing claw. However, after every mold, a process that occurs two to three times a year. The regenerated claw grows and will eventually become nearly as large as the original claw. On a very limited basis some amphibians and reptiles can replace a lost leg or tail. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials kangaroos, bandicoots, wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, Tasmanian devils, etc. have an abdominal pouch called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy, milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, 
some scientists now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. Which type of nitrogenous waste do various species of animals excrete? Since it is highly toxic, excretion of pure ammonia is possible only for aquatic animals. Because ammonia is very soluble in water. Urea and uric acid are excreted by terrestrial animals. Urea is approximately 100,000 times less toxic than ammonia. So it may be stored in the body and eliminated with relatively little water loss. Uric acid requires very little water for disposal and is often excreted as a paste or dry powder. An example is guano, the solid white droppings of seabirds and bats. What are blood groups? There are more than 20 genetically determined blood group systems among humans known today. But the Abzero and RH systems are the most important ones used to type blood for human blood transfusions. Different species of animals have varying numbers of blood groups. Which animals can run faster than a human? The cheetah, the fastest mammal, can accelerate from 0 to 45 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. In two seconds, it has been timed at speeds of 70 miles per hour, 112 kilometers per hour, over short distances. In most chases cheetahs average around 40 miles per hour, 63 kilometers per hour. Humans can run very short distances at almost 28 miles per hour, 45 kilometers per hour, maximum. Most of the speeds given in the table below are for distances of 0.25 mi, 0.4 kilometers. How does the immune system work? The immune system has two main components, white blood cells and antibodies circulating in the blood. The antigen-antibody reaction forms the basis for this immunity. When an antigen, antibody generator, a harmful bacterium, virus, fungus, parasite, or other foreign substance invades the body, a specific antibody is generated to attack the antigen. The antibody is produced by B lymphocytes, B cells, in the spleen or lymph nodes. An antibody may either destroy the antigen directly or it may label it so that a white blood cell, called a macrophage, or scavenger cell, can engulf the foreign intruder. 
after a human has been exposed to an antigen. A later exposure to the same antigen will produce a faster immune system reaction. The necessary antibodies will be produced more rapidly and in larger amounts. Artificial immunization uses this antigen antibody reaction to protect the human body from certain diseases. By exposing the body to a safe dose of antigen to produce effective antibodies as well as a readiness for any future attacks of the harmful antigen. Which mammals lay eggs and suckle their young? The duck-billed platypus, Ornithorhynchus anatinus, the short-nosed echidna or spiny anteater. Tachyglossus aculeatus, and the long-nosed echidna, Zaglossus bruigeni, indigenous to Australia. Tasmania, and New Guinea, respectively are the only three species of mammals that lay eggs. A non-mammalian feature, but suckle their young, a mammalian feature. These mammals, order Monotremata, resemble reptiles in that they lay rubbery. Shell-covered eggs that are incubated and hatched outside the mother's body. In addition, they resemble reptiles in their digestive, reproductive, and excretory systems and in a number of anatomical details, eye structure. Presence of certain skull bones, pectoral shoulder girdle and rib and vertebral structures. They are, however, classed as mammals because they have fur and a four-chambered heart. Nurse their young from gland milk, are warm-blooded, and have some mammalian skeletal features. How does asexual reproduction differ from sexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction produces offspring with the exact genetic material of the parent. Only one individual is needed to produce offspring via asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction produces offspring by the fusion of two gametes. Haploid cells, to form one zygote, diploid cell. The male gamete is the sperm, and the female gamete is the egg. Who first demonstrated that blood circulates? William Harvey 1578 to 1657 was the first person to demonstrate that blood circulates in the bodies of humans and other animals. Harvey's hypothesis was that the heart is a pump for the circulatory system with blood flowing in a closed circuit. Harvey conducted his research on live organisms as well as dissection of dead organisms to demonstrate that when the heart pumps, blood flows into the aorta. He observed that when an artery is slit, all the blood in the system empties. Finally, Harvey demonstrated that the valves in the veins serve to return blood to the heart. How much weight can an ant carry?
Ants are incredibly strong in relation to their size. Most ants can carry objects 10 to 20 times their own weight. And some ants can carry objects up to 50 times their own weight. Ants are able to carry these objects great distances and even climb trees while carrying them. This is comparable to a 100 pound person picking up a small car. Carrying it 7 to 8 miles on his back, and then climbing the tallest mountain while still carrying the car. What are the differences between an open and a closed circulatory system? In an open circulatory system, found in many invertebrates, e. g. spiders, crayfish, and grasshoppers, the blood is not always contained within the blood vessels. Periodically, the blood leaves the blood vessels to bathe the tissues with blood and then returns to the heart. There is no interstitial body fluid separate from the blood. A closed circulatory system, also called a cardiovascular system, is found in all vertebrate animals and many invertebrates, in a closed system the blood never leaves the blood vessels. What are the components of the circulatory system? The components of the circulatory system are vessels, heart, and blood. The three types of vessels in a closed circulatory system are arteries, capillaries, and veins. Arteries transport blood away from the heart to the various organs in the body. Veins return blood to the heart after it circulates through the body. Capillaries form an elaborate network of tiny vessels that convey blood between arteries and veins. Do all animals have blood? Some invertebrates, such as flatworms and nadarians, lack a circulatory system that contains blood. These animals possess a clear, watery tissue that contains some phagocytic cells. A little protein, and a mixture of salt similar to seawater. Invertebrates with an open circulatory system have a fluid that is more complex. It is usually referred to as hemolymph, from the Greek term hymo, meaning blood, and the Latin term lympha, meaning water. Invertebrates with a closed circulatory system have blood that is contained within blood vessels. Vertebrates have blood composed of plasma and formed elements. How many vertebrae are in the neck of a giraffe? A giraffe neck has seven vertebrae, the same as other mammals, but the vertebrae are greatly elongated. How are nitrogenous wastes metabolized? A 
ammonia, urea, and uric acid are nitrogenous waste products. They are the result of the breakdown of various molecules including nucleic acids and amino acids. Some amino acids are used for new protein synthesis. While others are oxidized to generate energy or converted to fats or carbohydrates that can be stored. Once broken down, the amino group NH2, containing one nitrogen and two hydrogens, must be removed or the animal will eventually be poisoned. Ammonia is the most toxic of the nitrogenous wastes. It is formed by the addition of a third hydrogen atom to the NH2 group. Both urea and uric acid are less toxic forms of nitrogenous waste but have greater energy requirements for their production. Why do small animals not have a circulatory system? Smaller animals such as hydras do not have a separate circulatory system. Since their cells are able to efficiently exchange materials, nutrients, gases, and wastes, through diffusion. The cells of these animals are close to the surface and thus can exchange nutrients effectively. Do animals other than humans have fingerprints? It is known that gorillas and other primates have fingerprints. Of special interest, however, is that our closest relative, the chimpanzee does not. Koala bears also have fingerprints. Researchers in Australia have determined that the fingerprints of koala bears closely resemble those of human fingerprints in size, shape, and pattern. What is unusual about the way the emperor penguin's eggs are incubated? Each female emperor penguin, Aptenidites fur's terry, lays one large egg. Initially, both sexes share in incubating the egg by carrying it on his or her feet covered with a fold of skin. After a few days of passing the egg back and forth, the female leaves to feed in the open water of the Arctic Ocean. Balancing their eggs on their feet, the male penguins shuffle about the rookery. Periodically huddling together for warmth during blizzards and frigid weather. If an egg is inadvertently orphaned, a male with no egg will quickly adopt it. Two months after the female's departure, the chick hatches. The male feeds it with a milky substance he regurgitates until the female returns. Now padded with blubber. The females take over feeding the chicks with fish they have stored in their crops. The females do not return to their mate, and own offspring, however. But wander from male to male until one allows her to take his chick. It is then the males turn to feed in open water and restore the fat layer they lost while incubating. What are non-specific defenses?
non-specific defenses do not differentiate between various invaders. Barriers such as skin, hide, and the mucous membrane lining the respiratory and digestive tracts. Phagocytic white blood cells, and chemicals are nonspecific defenses. The nonspecific defenses are the first to respond to a foreign substance in the body. Do animals suffer from allergies? Veterinarians report that dogs and cats suffer from allergies. They may be allergic to food, insect bites, dust, household chemicals, or pollen. Instead of having runny noses and watery eyes, animals experience itchy skin conditions. Difficulty in breathing, or disruptions in the digestive tract. What are the functions of the excretory system? The excretory system is responsible for removing waste products. It also plays a vital role in regulating the water and salt balance in the organism. What are some typical disorders of the immune system? Allergies, autoimmune diseases. And immunodeficiency diseases are different kinds of disorders of the immune system. Allergies are abnormal sensitivities to a substance that is harmless to many other people. Common allergens include pollen, certain foods, cosmetics, medications, fungal spores, and insect venom. The antibody immunoglobulin E, IgE, is responsible for most allergic reactions. When exposed to an allergen, IgE antibodies attach themselves to mast cells or basophils. Mast cells are normal body cells that produce histamines and other chemicals. When exposed to the same allergen at a later time, the individual may experience an allergic response when the allergen binds to the antibodies attached to mast cells, causing the cells to release histamine and other inflammatory chemicals. While most allergic reactions are expressed as a runny nose, difficulty in breathing, skin rashes and eruptions, or intestinal discomfort, a severe allergic reaction results in anaphylactic shock. Autoimmune diseases are diseases in which the immune system rejects the body's own molecules. Insulin-dependent diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis. Systemic lupus erythematosus, and rheumatic fever are autoimmune diseases. In contrast, in immunodeficiency diseases such as AIDS, the immune system is too weak to fight disease. What are the upper and lower shell of a turtle called? The turtle, order Testudinas, uses its shell as a protective device. The upper shell is called the dorsal carapace and the lower shell is called the ventral plastron. The shell sections are referred to as the scutes. 
The carapace and the plastron are joined at the sides. What is the chemical composition of chitin? Chitin, found in the exoskeletons of insects and other arthropods, is a glucosamine polysaccharide with the formula of C30H50O19N4 and a molecular weight of 770.42. The basic units of this substance are linked together by condensation reactions to make up long chains. Hydrogen bonds link the chains together and help make chitin rigid and strong. It is a white, amorphous, semi-transparent mass that is insoluble in common solvents like water and alcohol. What are the three main types of skeletal systems? The three main types of skeletal systems are hydrostatic skeleton, exoskeleton, and endoskeleton. A hydrostatic skeleton consists of fluid under pressure. This type of skeletal system is most common in soft, flexible animals such as hydras, planar eons, and earthworms and other segmented worms. Hydras and planar eons have a fluid-filled gastrovascular cavity. The body cavity, or chylome, of an earthworm is also fluid-filled. Many aquatic and certain terrestrial animals have an exoskeleton. The exoskeleton is rigid and hard. Mollusks have an exoskeleton made of calcium carbonate. It grows with the animal during its entire lifetime. Another type of exoskeleton common among insects and arthropods is made from chitin. Chitin is a strong flexible nitrogenous polysaccharide. While it provides excellent protection and allows for a large variety of movements. It does not grow with the animal. When an animal outgrows its skeleton, it must shed its skeleton and replace it with a larger one in a process known as molding. An endoskeleton consists of bone and cartilage and grows with the animal throughout its life. It stores calcium salts and blood cells and consists of hard or leathery. Supporting elements situated among the soft tissues of an animal. Although most common among vertebrates, certain invertebrates such as sponges, sea stars, sea urchins, and other echinoderms have an endoskeleton of hard plates beneath their skin. This type of skeletal system allows for a wider range of movement than do the other two. How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called rhizylin. The rhizylin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the rhizylin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the rhizylin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. 
To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 in 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 in, 18.4 centimeters, in height. How do fleas jump so far? The jumping power of fleas comes both from strong leg muscles and from pads of a rubber-like protein called resilin. The resilin is located above the flea's hind legs. To jump, the flea crouches, squeezing the resilin, and then it relaxes certain muscles. Stored energy from the resilin works like a spring, launching the flea. A flea can jump well both vertically and horizontally. Some species can jump 150 times their own length. To match that record, a human would have to spring over the length of two and a quarter football fields or the height of a 100-story building in a single bound. The common flea, Pulex irritans, has been known to jump 13 in 33 centimeters, in length and 7.25 in, 18.4 centimeters, in height. What causes the Mexican jumping bean to move? The bean moth, Carpacapa saltitans, lays its eggs in the flower or in the seed pod of the spurge. A bush known as Euphorbia sebastiana. The egg hatches inside the seed pod, producing a larva or caterpillar. The jumping of the bean is caused by the active shifting of weight inside the shell as the caterpillar moves. The jumps of the bean are stimulated by sunshine or by heat from the palm of the hand. What causes the Mexican jumping bean to move? The bean moth, Carpacapa saltitans, lays its eggs in the flower or in the seed pod of the spurge. A bush known as Euphorbia sebastiana. The egg hatches inside the seed pod, producing a larva or caterpillar. The jumping of the bean is caused by the active shifting of weight inside the shell as the caterpillar moves. The jumps of the bean are stimulated by sunshine or by heat from the palm of the hand. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers per hour. Some American fishermen, however, 
believe that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for this species so far is 43.4 miles per hour, 69.8 kilometers per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the waoi, Acanthosibium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles per hour, 74.5 kilometers per hour, and 47.88 miles per hour, 77 kilometers per hour, respectively during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at 40 plus mph, 64 plus kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles per hour. 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles per hour, 8.3 kilometers per hour. At what speeds do fishes swim? The maximum swimming speed of a fish is somewhat determined by the shape of its body and tail and by its internal temperature. The cosmopolitan sailfish, Istiophorus platypterus, is considered to be the fastest fish species. At least for short distances, swimming at greater than 60 miles per hour, 95 kilometers per hour. Some American fishermen, however, believe that the bluefin tuna, Thunnus thinnus, is the fastest, but the fastest speed recorded for this species so far is 43.4 miles per hour, 69.8 kilometers per hour. Data is extremely difficult to secure because of the practical difficulties in measuring the speeds. The yellowfin tuna, Thunnus albicares, and the waoi, Acanthosibium solandri, are also fast. Timed at 46.35 miles per hour, 74.5 kilometers per hour, and 47.88 miles per hour, 77 kilometers per hour, respectively during 10 to 20 second sprints. Flying fish swim at 40 plus mph. 64 plus kilometers per hour, dolphins at 37 miles per hour. 60 kilometers per hour, trout at 15 miles per hour, 24 kilometers per hour, and blenny at 5 miles per hour, 8 kilometers per hour. Humans can swim 5.19 miles per hour, 8.3 kilometers per hour. What is the fastest snake on land? The black mamba, Dendro aspis polylipi, a deadly poisonous African snake that can grow up to 13 feet. 4M, in length, has been recorded reaching a speed of 7 miles per hour, 11 kilometers per hour. A particularly aggressive snake, it chases animals at high speeds. Holding the front of its body above the ground. What is the fastest snake on land? The black mamba, Dendro aspis polylipi, 
a deadly poisonous African snake that can grow up to 13 feet. 4M, in length, has been recorded reaching a speed of 7 miles per hour, 11 kilometers per hour. A particularly aggressive snake, it chases animals at high speeds. Holding the front of its body above the ground. Do all birds fly? No. Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratites because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. Do all birds fly? No. Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratites because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. How fast does a hummingbird fly, and how far does the hummingbird migrate? Hummingbirds fly at speeds up to 71 miles per hour, 114 kilometers per hour. Small species beat their wings 50 to 80 times per second, higher in courtship displays. For comparison, the following table lists the flight speeds of some other birds. The longest migratory flight of a hummingbird documented to date is The flight of a Rufus hummingbird from Ramsey Canyon, Arizona, to near Mt. St. Helens, Washington a distance of 1,414 miles 2,277 kilometers. Bird banding studies are now in progress to verify that a few rufous. Hummingbirds do make a 11,000 to 11,500 miles, 17,699 to 18,503 kilometers. Journey along a super great basin high route, a circuit that could take a year to complete. Hummingbird studies, however, are difficult to complete because so few banded birds are recovered. How fast does a hummingbird fly, and how far does the hummingbird migrate? Hummingbirds fly at speeds up to 71 miles per hour, 
114 km per hour. Small species beat their wings 50 to 80 times per second, higher in courtship displays. For comparison, the following table lists the flight speeds of some other birds. The longest migratory flight of a hummingbird documented to date is The flight of a Rufus hummingbird from Ramsey Canyon, Arizona, to near MT. St. Helens, Washington, a distance of 1,414 miles 2,277 kilometers. Bird banding studies are now in progress to verify that a few Rufus Hummingbirds do make a 11,000 to 11,500 miles, 17,699 to 18,503 kilometers. Journey along a super great basin high route, a circuit that could take a year to complete. Hummingbird studies, however, are difficult to complete because so few banded birds are recovered. How fast does a hummingbird's wing move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim sharp bills into the flower's depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure eight lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downward into the front loop of the eight, creating lift. As it begins to come up and goes back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have a major limitation. The smaller a wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times a second. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 in, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times a second. How fast does a hummingbird's wing move? Hummingbirds are the only family of birds that can truly hover in still air for any length of time. They need to do so in order to hang in front of a flower while they perform the delicate task of inserting their slim sharp bills into the flower's depths to drink nectar. Their thin wings are not contoured into the shape of aerofoils and do not generate lift in this way. Their paddle-shaped wings are, in effect, hands that swivel at the shoulder. They beat them in such a way that the tip of each wing follows the line of a figure eight lying on its side. The wing moves forward and downward into the front loop of the eight, creating lift. As it begins to come up and goes back, the wing twists through 180 degrees so that once again it creates a downward thrust. The hummingbird's method of flying does have a major limitation. 
The smaller a wing, the faster it has to beat in order to produce sufficient. Downward thrust. An average sized hummingbird beats its wings 25 times a second. The bee hummingbird, native to Cuba, is only 2 in, 5 centimeters. Long and beats its wings at an astonishing 200 times a second. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats consist of double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats consist of double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. What is the definition of behavior? In its broadest sense, Behavior covers all kinds of movement and responses to environmental changes. In other words, behavior is the term used to describe what an animal does. What is the definition of behavior? In its broadest sense, behavior covers all kinds of movement and responses to environmental changes. In other words, behavior is the term used to describe what an animal does. Who was the first individual to study animal behavior? Aristotle, 384-322b. C.E., wrote ten volumes on the natural history of animals. The Roman naturalist Pliny, 23-79 C.E. Also extensively observed and recorded observations of organisms in his book Natural History. In more recent times Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, recorded in his journal, The Behavior of the Marine Iguanas of the Galapagos Islands. Darwin also published a book, The Expression of the Emotions of Man and Animals, 1872 in which he showed how natural selection would favor specialized behavioral patterns for survival. 
however, it was not until 1953, when Nico Tinbergen 1907-1988, documented and published his studies of gulls, the herring gulls world, and their begging techniques. That the field of ethology the study of animal behavior was established. Who was the first individual to study animal behavior? Aristotle, 384-322b. C.E. wrote ten volumes on the natural history of animals. The Roman naturalist Pliny, 23-79 C.E. Also extensively observed and recorded observations of organisms in his book Natural History. In more recent times Charles Darwin, 1809 to 1882, recorded in his journal, The Behavior of the Marine Iguanas of the Galapagos Islands. Darwin also published a book, The Expression of the Emotions of Man and Animals, 1872, in which he showed how natural selection would favor specialized behavioral patterns for survival. However, it was not until 1953, when Nico Tinbergen 1907 to 1988 documented and published his studies of gulls, the herring gulls world, and their begging techniques. That the field of ethology the study of animal behavior was established. What is ethology? Ethology emerged in the mid-1930s and was first recognized as a subdiscipline of biology in Europe. Ethology differed from traditional biological studies of animals in that scientific principles were applied to the study of animal behavior, with practitioners using both field observations and laboratory experiments. The field was developed and first recognized as a science in Europe, where experimental conditions were kept as natural as possible. What is ethology? Ethology emerged in the mid-1930s and was first recognized as a subdiscipline of biology in Europe. Ethology differed from traditional biological studies of animals in that scientific principles were applied to the study of animal behavior, with practitioners using both field observations and laboratory experiments. The field was developed and first recognized as a science in Europe, where experimental conditions were kept as natural as possible. Who was Nico Tinbergen? Nico Tinbergen, 1907 to 1988, along with Conrad Lorenz, 1903 to 1989, and Carl von Frisch, 1886 to 1982, laid the four cornerstones of ethological study, causation, development, evolution, and function of behavior. 
Tinbergen's earliest studies were of the aggressive threat displays of adult male three-spined sticklebackfish, Gasterosteus aculeatus. Tinbergen found that by presenting the male with stickleback models, he was able to elicit an aggressive response. He began his career in animal behavior as a child by studying the mating and nesting behavior of sticklebacks in his backyard pond. He attended the University of Leiden, where he did his dissertation research on digger wasps. His thesis was only 36 pages long and was barely accepted by the faculty. In 1936 he met Lawrence at a symposium, and they became lifelong friends and colleagues. During World War II Tinbergen was imprisoned in a German hostage camp and Lawrence in a Russian camp. When they were reunited after the war, both resumed their studies on animal behavior. Who was Nico Tinbergen? Nico Tinbergen, 1907-1988, along with Conrad Lorenz, 1903-1989, and Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982. Laid the four cornerstones of ethological study, causation, development, evolution, and function of behavior. Tinbergen's earliest studies were of the aggressive threat displays of adult male three-spined sticklebackfish, Gasterosteus aculeatus. Tinbergen found that by presenting the male with stickleback models, he was able to elicit an aggressive response. He began his career in animal behavior as a child by studying the mating and nesting behavior of sticklebacks in his backyard pond. He attended the University of Leiden, where he did his dissertation research on digger wasps. His thesis was only 36 pages long and was barely accepted by the faculty. In 1936 he met Lorenz at a symposium, and they became lifelong friends and colleagues. During World War II Tinbergen was imprisoned in a German hostage camp and Lorenz in a Russian camp. When they were reunited after the war, both resumed their studies on animal behavior. How do steroid hormones differ from non-steroid hormones? Steroid hormones such as estrogen and testosterone enter target cells and directly interact with the DNA in the nucleus. Non-steroid hormones such as adrenaline generally do not enter the target cell but instead bind to a receptor protein found on external cell membranes. This then causes a sequence of metabolic effects. How can you tell male and female lobsters apart? The differences between male and female lobsters can only be seen when they are turned on their backs. In the male lobster the two swimmerettes, forked appendages used for swimming, nearest the carapace. The solid shell, are hard, sharp, and bony, in the female the same swimmerettes are soft and feathery. 
The female also has a receptacle that appears as a shield wedged between the third pair of walking legs. During mating the male deposits sperm into this receptacle, where it remains for as long as several months until the female uses it to fertilize her eggs as they are laid. What is delayed implantation? Delayed implantation is a phenomenon that lengthens the gestation period of many mammals. The blastocyst remains dormant while its implantation in the uterine wall is postponed for a period of time lasting from a few weeks to several months. Many mammals, including bears, seals, weasels, badgers, bats, and some deer, use this phenomenon to extend their gestation period through delayed implantation so they give birth at the time of year that offers the best chance of survival for their young. Do all birds fly? No. Among the flightless birds, the penguins and the ratites are the best known. Ratites include emus, kiwis, ostriches, rheas, and cassowaries. They are called ratites because they lack a keel on the breastbone. All of these birds have wings but lost their power to fly millions of years ago. Many birds that live isolated on oceanic islands, for example, the great auk, apparently became flightless in the absence of predators and the consequent gradual disuse of their wings for escape. How does kidney dialysis remove waste products from the body? Damaged or diseased kidneys are not capable of removing toxic waste substances from the body. Kidney dialysis removes the nitrogenous waste and Regulates the pH of the blood when the kidneys do not work. Blood is pumped from an artery through a series of tubes. Made of a permeable membrane and a dialyzing solution. Urea and excess salts diffuse out of the blood as it circulates through the dialyzing machine and are then discarded. Necessary ions diffuse from the dialyzing solution back into the blood. The cleansed blood is then returned to the body. Do any mammals fly? Bats, order Chiroptera with 986 species, are the only truly flying mammals. Although several gliding mammals are referred to as flying, such as the flying squirrel and flying lemur. The wings of bats consist of double membranes of skin stretching from the sides of the body to the hind legs and tail. And are actually skin extensions of the back and belly. The wing membranes are supported by the elongated fingers of the forelimbs, or arms. How are anabolic steroids harmful to those who use them?
anabolic, protein building. Steroids are drugs that mimic the effects of testosterone and other male sex hormones. They can build muscle tissue, strengthen bone, and speed muscle recovery following exercise or injury. They are sometimes prescribed to treat some types of anemia as well as osteoporosis in postmenopausal women. Anabolic steroids have become a lightning rod of controversy in competitive sports. The drugs are banned from most organized competitions because of the dangers. They pose to health and to prevent athletes from gaining an unfair advantage. Adverse effects of anabolic steroids include hypertension, acne, edema, and damage to liver, heart, and adrenal glands. Psychiatric symptoms can include hallucinations, paranoid delusions, and manic episodes. In men anabolic steroids can cause infertility, impotence, and premature balding. Women can develop masculine characteristics such as excessive hair growth. Male pattern balding, disruption of menstruation, and deepening of the voice. Children and adolescents can develop problems in growing bones, leading to short stature. What are neurosecretory cells? Neurosecretory cells are specialized nerve cells that produce and secrete hormones. Well known examples of neurosecretory cells are oxytocin and vasopressin secreting neurons in the hypothalamus and cells in the adrenal medulla. These cells are found in vertebrates and invertebrates. What is the definition of behavior? In its broadest sense, behavior covers all kinds of movement and responses to environmental changes. In other words, behavior is the term used to describe what an animal does.